The chair now recognizes the gentlelady from Missouri, Ms. Wagner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Stumpf, you've come before this committee today to answer for the appalling actions taken by your company, Wells Fargo. I have a number of questions, but I want to start by expressing my outrage. Outrage that your company was taking advantage of your customers, our constituents, for years and years and years. I don't understand how your employees could create millions of unauthorized accounts without someone raising a red flag. And if that happened, how you failed to act on that knowledge. You had a responsibility to your customers and you failed big time. Placing one's money and wealth in the custody of an organization like Wells Fargo is one of the biggest displays of, what are we talking about? Public trust. Mm -hmm. And you, sir, and your company have betrayed that trust and taken advantage of, cus of consumers in order to meet sales performance goals and fraudulent fraudulently improve earnings and share prices. This is wrong, this is immoral, and this may even be criminal. And as you stated, sir, the buck stops with you. Not only did Wells Fargo and your employees fail these customers, but our regulators failed as well. They neither identified nor prevented this malpractice from occurring in the first place. It wasn't the OCC or the CFPB that first uncovered these deceptive sales practices that were taking place, but it was in fact the LA Times, the media, that first brought your company's shameful practices to light. And while it is the regulator's job to prosecute the banking institutions that break the law, it is our job as members of Congress to prosecute the regulators who were in fact asleep at the wheel. From what we know, and there is a lot that we don't know, sir. This widespread abuse was occurring as long ago as 2011. Some have, have said maybe back as far as 2007. With 1,000 employees being terminated every year for creating fraudulent accounts. Yet this behavior persisted for years without management intervening. And even when regulators began to investigate, Wells Fargo did nothing to notify customers and shareholders. Your company abused its customers. While you have apologized, that apology carries no weight with me, sir. You still have a lot to explain to this committee and, frankly, to my constituents. Mr. Stumpf, how many of your customers have been Im uh, impacted by your fraudulent activities? Well, I don't know. I, I know what the PwC numbers showed. What it is was, that number? It, it's, there was two million accounts that they could not rule out, and now we're going back and contacting those customers. Within our credit card business, as I mentioned, we've already talked to 20,000 of them. How many in Missouri, Mr. Stumpf? I can get you that. Quickly as you can, please. How many customers have been abused in my home state of Missouri? There were 1,191 accounts. What portion of these customers were defrauded after you became aware of the fraudulent activities? I, I, I don't know what, I don't have a timeline on that. I just know it broke, broken out by credit card. So over 2 deposits. million customers, you're going back to even find out we're, there are more, and you don't have a timeline. When you, were, you, you have a timeline for the, for the employees that you fired year after year after year, but you have no timeline of the number of fraudulent accounts? I, don't, I, 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 can, I can work on that and get that to you. I don't happen to have it in my book right now here You for keep you. saying, sir, that you're going to make it right. Correct. Those are your words. You're going to make it right. I'd like to know when. When will these customers be made whole, Mr. Stumpf, when will we know and when will they know whether their credit scores have been affected? When? Yes, well, we're starting to work on that right now, and we've already talked to 20,000 of our customers, 
and we're hearing that 75 percent or 20, less than 25 percent either didn't want the card or didn't know they had the card. And then we're going to 20,000 out of 2 million plus customers. You're just getting started now? No. The, the it took five years, sir, just to identify and begin rectifying the problem. And Wells Fargo only just announced their sales incentives will eliminate in October. Maybe just when will customers, will they have to wait five years, sir, okay. or longer in order to get relief? The 20,000 we've talked so far is out of the 565,000. Other ones did not have, from my understanding, a bureau involved. But we're going to talk to all of our customers. We're going to I'm, contact all of them. Time of the gentlelady has expired. Thank